so now I've changed my attention to uh, the rebar here. So I got this old archaic uh, rebar bender, and I've just been bending all this rebarb here to sit uh, into the 18 inch out edge there where we're gonna have all basically the footings there go down 18 by 18 as I've already mentioned you can see I got all my lines for all my rebar so I have to uh, do it to go all the way around and then they're only 20 foot length so in the middle of the longer length there I need to uh, tie them together in the middle but before I do that I'm gonna put some poly down here and uh, kind of smooth off the edges there with a the rake and shovel but we're getting close Definitely another good day, just working, grinding. Hell yeah, and good day everybody. Jeremiah back with another studio build update from the Undergun Compound. So the last few days have been uh, a whole lot of rain and a whole lot of sleet. Winter has arrived pretty gnarly here. My hands are just waterlogged and blistered, but uh, I got all the rebar put in, tied, and uh, yeah, we are ready to pour some concrete. So this part here, this would be a good uh, little episode for anybody who might be thinking of building their own Quonset hut. And uh, it was installing and building these guys here. It's a nine and a half by three inch deep groove that you have to set into your foundation that the sidewalls go into that you mount them into and then grout after. So there's gonna be concrete here and of course the whole slab in the middle, right? And then on the front, we have one too. And this one's 10 inch by three also. And then that gives you a little lip for the back of your building to build your back wall on. And uh, at first I was kind of stumped, but uh, my guy helping me with concrete here gave me the idea to uh, build these big beams. I was just gonna try to maybe box something out of plywood, but underneath that actually is solid uh, two by 10 with a two by six and a two by two all kind of pieced together. And it was quite a bit of sag, so he had the idea to get some uh, ready rod and uh, slam them into the thing. I drilled a hole on the top so I could get through and then just bring your bolt up with a washer on top and get them up to the level. And then anywhere you got sag, throw one in. So I went with three and then I got her tighter in the end here. I still got a board on the bottom I got to pop out before we pour. And that's how I solved that problem. And everything else is good to go. Got all the rebar as close to the edge without touching the edge of the floor or anything anyway all the way around. First time I've ever done anything like this so it was a learning experience but uh, yeah we are ready to pour some concrete and uh, the concrete guys are rolling in tomorrow. So I got this done just in the nick of time. And uh, yeah so that's today's update. We are ready to pour, and I'll be back to pour. And here's my buddy the Raven coming in. Coming in to have a look on things here, see how things are going. Yeah, this dead tree over here, all the birds love uh, landing on it. My buddy's like, oh, let's cut that down. I'm like, no, actually, I'm gonna leave it for a while. There. Eventually, we'll definitely have to cut it down, but the birds love it. All right, till next time. Cheers, guys.